look now at TIAA Bank Field, the home of the Florida Georgia game through at least 2023. Action News Jax alerted you to the breaking news just before 10 today. Since then, we have learned that the city sweetened the deal to keep the game here in Jacksonville. Action News Jax Paige Kelton is in the newsroom. Paige, you got your hands on the agreement and learned that the city is making some million dollar guarantees. Yeah, this is the deal that keeps this storied rivalry here in Jacksonville through the 2023 season. The biggest change, a $750,000 increase in the city's guarantees for both universities. Starting in 2020, next year, both Florida and Georgia will get a million dollars guaranteed from the city of Jacksonville. There's also an option to extend the deal another two years. Each school will have a guaranteed payment then of $1.25 million from the city. This rivalry is really the stuff of legend. It brings tens of millions of dollars every Florida Georgia weekend. It's one weekend where local families pick sides and go either red or black or orange and blue. Tonight, Tonight we're going one-on-one -on -one with Mayor Lenny Curry to ask about the city's investment in keeping the Florida Georgia game here. Don't miss that interview tonight at 6. In the newsroom, Paige Kelton, CBS 47, Fox 30, Action News Jax. Well, the first ever Florida Georgia game was held in Macon, Georgia in 1904. Georgia won big time, 52 to nothing, but UF doesn't count that loss because at the time the school was called Florida Agricultural College. The first game recognizing both teams took place in Jacksonville in 1915. Georgia won that game 37 to nothing. It wasn't until 1928 when Florida finally beat the Bulldogs 26 to 6. Action News Jacks will have complete game day coverage yet you need next Saturday. We'll have countdown to kickoff, the Gators versus the Bulldogs, and a postgame show all on CBS 47.